Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. Hope you're well Taurus. So I'm doing these readings a little bit early because of Easter coming up. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Taurus please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. 5th to the 11th of April 2021. I've got lightning, which can be a card of change, can be a card of tower moments as well. Let's pull another card with that. Thank you. And we have illusion. There could be some truth here, Taurus. Now that could be you seeing some truth or it could well be to do with um, seeing through a situation, revelation truth. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. So I've got an energy of reconsider. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Taurus, you know, by now. And I clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have for Taurus, please? 5th to the 11th of April, 2021 message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. Five of Cups in the challenge position. The Magician. Nice. And oh wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Message for Taurus, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Taurus. Message for Taurus, thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Angel Spirits Guides, 5th to the 11th of April, 2021. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you. Okay, I've got, I think it's three cards, okay. Ten of Cups, three of Cups, and the Strength card. The Magician. I've got the lovers reversed and temperance. Bottom of the deck, I have the eight of wands. Yes, Taurus, I mean, there's definitely an energy here. I mean, I like the <clears throat> I like the five of cups in the challenge position because it feels like there's been some you're you've seen through the illusion of a situation and it, it feels to do with a marriage, a long term relationship commitment. Um, and, you know, there could be some truth um, that's come to light here. There's an energy of regrets, looking back, difficulty moving on, feeling down with this five of cups energy. That's for sure, but it's, it's an energy in the challenge position of you're about to release from it, which is nice. Um, so whatever this is, you're about to, you're ready for manifesting something new and that's what Spirit is saying here. Um, because it, it feels like there has been some ending to what you felt was a happy, harmonious relationship that just became very... Um, imbalanced, struggling, became disconnected and there's definitely an energy of, there is an energy of finding yourself alone here but being ready to embrace new possibilities, you know, that strength card is the energy of finding your inner strength even in the face of feeling some emotion here, trying to conquer some difficult emotions in order to move forward. It feels like a very positive energy in terms of, uh, a, 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 it feels like there's been some struggle in a relationship. It, there's an energy of looking back with the Five of Cups, but a definite feeling that there is promise around you with those two cups full. So you can see in this energy, somebody has felt down. Somebody has endured uh, 
regret, felt a failure, you know, felt, felt down. But there is definitely an energy of now is the time to move on. And it feels like this is an energy of moving on in the challenge position, being ready to move on, forgive what needs to be forgiven in you, even forgive yourself um, and allow yourself to move forward. Because, you know, the lover's card in the reverse position is self-love reconnecting to who you are and showing yourself some love, taking care of you. I love that energy. And that's what spirit is telling you. This is the advice from spirit. And the magician is show yourself some love now and reconnect to who you are to work your magic because the time is ripe, you know, to bring transformation to your reality. This can be a card of, you know, ready to manifest something that has been negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. And we certainly have the gold at the end of this reading. So it feels beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The, mag the magic is within you and around you, your talent, experience, knowledge, earth, air, fire and water on that table, four corners of the world you know, to four elements of the world, to really um, combine and use your skills, ability, knowledge, talent to manifest your heart's desire. Now is the time when the magician appears. The magician is saying that you're resourceful enough, you have power, this is a time to focus on the one thing the most that you want to change in your life and commit to it and take action towards it with unwavering faith and the belief that you can change it. So it, I love this energy. I love this transformational energy. It is all about embracing the magic. Again, having felt some kind of, it feels to do with a lost relationship here, but moving on from it, Taurus. Because, you know, I definitely get this energy of you are adapting and you are moving forward. I mean, you know, this is an energy shift and, you know, this is energy shift. This is forward movement. Can be linked to travel as well. Maybe taking some time out, maybe going away somewhere, maybe booking some holidays. Um, I definitely see that for some of you. You know, how you're adapting to this situation and finding your flow once more and getting balance back in your life. Having gone through some instability here or imbalance and it feels to do with a significant relationship. You know, some of you might be making some decisions on choices to go on holiday, but there's definitely an energy of moving forward once more taking action to move forward and this is swift energy of moving forward can also be to do with conversations communication opportunity um could be online dating for some of you as well you know um there's definitely an energy here of uh the ace of pentacles i mean this is an energy of career financial opportunities it's the beginning of abundance as well a new door towards abundance um, can also be about moving relocating as well so for some of you Taurus whatever this resonates for and remember the abundant energy is just where you don't feel lack anymore so there is a new door opening that feels bright and shining and it's the gold that you've been manifesting and that's why the magician is telling you to manifest he's the alchemist and there's definitely an energy of pure alchemy with you this week of you have the opportunity to trans to to manifest pure uh, base metal to gold. There's some kind of golden opportunity to move forward towards. It feels very beautiful. Something to do with reconsider. Maybe your priorities might be to do with your priorities, what you focus on now. Um, you know, that sword energy can be clarity of the mind. Uh, truth, um, getting perspective, but it feels like you're seeing through, there has been some deep change, it feels like a bubble has been burst here, and there has been some challenge in moving on from that, but nevertheless, it definitely feels in this energy, this is a time for self-love, and when you focus on that, and when you focus on the thing that you want to change in your life for the better, like I said, with that Ace of Pentacles, it just all begins to shift forward. This is the universe helping you as well with that energy. Um, 
could be some communication conversation you know again maybe travel plans for some of you it feels really beautiful so lovely lovely energy taurus um a, a shiny new beginning yeah finding your flow and i'm definitely getting this new adventure energy this, these two cards can be, it feels like an energy of new adventures opening up for you. Okay, so let's pull a final card. Oh, wow. That's so appropriate, lost and found. Um, I feel something has been lost, but I think you're finding something new. We have lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. It's a lovely energy, Taurus. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.